Hey, John Hickok here. Today I've got a comparison for you guys. Nerf gun versus real gun, more specifically revolvers. Uh, we've got the Nerf Strike Strong Arm Blaster. And here for the real gun, we have a Trooper, Colt Trooper Mark III. Really nice, really nice revolver. Um, it goes back to around the 70s, something like that. I'm not sure exact the exact date on it, uh, but these are really neat old collectible Colt revolvers. Very uh, very nice, nice revolver, 38 or 357 Magnum. We're going to shoot uh, 38s in this for the uh, for the comparison today, because I want something that's a little closer uh, to this uh, power factor wise uh, than 357. So this is the strong arm Nerf blaster, and as you can see, it is a Nerf gun. It is not a a real gun, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a comparison between the two. But let's start out by shooting both of them, and then we'll go from there. So here's the real gun. All right, let's shoot some of these uh, steel targets down here. Stop sign. All right, shoot the tombstone. All right, I think I've got one shot left. I'm going to try to shoot that buffalo all the way up there. All right, I'm gonna shoot this one in uh, single action. All right, we're out of ammo. Okay, now let's shoot the Nerf gun. All right, six rounds in both. I don't need these, that's, that's one difference. Uh, the Nerf gun is not loud, so you don't need any type of ear protection and, and you wouldn't really need uh, eye protection unless someone was uh, firing it at you. That'd be one difference where um, if someone was firing a real gun at you, eye protection wouldn't help. But if they're firing one of these at you, it, it could uh, could protect your eyes. But no one's going to be shooting either of them at me right now. So, okay. Um, let's shoot the stop sign. All right. Looks like a little to the left. All right, a little to the right. All right, got him. There we go. Uh, let's try let's try that circle plate over there. All right, a little low. Let me got two rounds left. All right, I'm going to try to hit the gong. Uh, it's not as it doesn't seem to be as accurate as the as the real gun. So I'm going to try the gong, something big over there. All right, pretty low. I have to aim a lot higher. Yeah. So as you can see, um, you know, we don't quite have the same velocity out of this that we would have out of the real gun. That's of course is a disadvantage and an advantage of, of a Nerf gun, uh, which I want to get into here in a minute. But first, before I get into that, I want to thank the people who support this channel, BudsGunShop.com. We appreciate all their support, so please go check out everything they have to offer over at Bud's Gun Shop. And uh, also SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. You can uh, go check them out, sdi.edu, and uh, get a, possibly a career in uh, gunsmithing or firearms technology. Also, Federal Ammo. We're going to be shooting Federal Ammo today in the real gun. The Federal doesn't load anything for Nerf, as far as I know. Um, and also, the NRA. If uh, we have not joined the NRA yet, in the National Rifle Association yet, please go down to the link in our description and do that. Okay, so based on shooting both of these, um, you know, obviously a, a big difference. Noise, right? The real gun's a lot louder. You have to have ear protection. Um, velocity. Um, you know, we're talking about big difference, big difference in, in velocity. Um, and as you can see, you know, there's a parent because, you know, it, it didn't seem to do anything to that target at all. Um, you know, we're going left, right, one, even though I'm hang, you know, aiming in the same spot. You know, shooting over there didn't even seem like it had the energy to make it, um, which, you know, we didn't get to shoot over there yet with the real gun, but you'll, you'll see that, you know, that, that will not have any problem uh, reaching over there. Uh, without, any, without any trouble. Uh, one big advantage of the Nerf gun, of course, the disadvantage, you know, you don't have velocity, so it's hard to hit targets that are further away, but one advantage is you can actually, uh, you can safely shoot people with this. That's a good, that's a fun thing about a Nerf gun, is that um, the velocity is low and the uh, projectiles are soft, so you can actually shoot each other for fun. Um, and, and that's a big appeal 
of the Nerf gun, whereas with the real gun, that's absolutely nothing you would ever do. Um, this would be something that uh, you would only use for self-defense if someone was trying to take your life um, or for general uh, target shooting. Vastly different safety protocols for both of these um, because, because of the danger, the, the potential danger of a real gun um, you have to be very careful and, and, and follow all the safety rules, like make sure it's always pointed in a safe direction. Make sure your finger is not on the trigger until you're pointed down range and you're ready to shoot. Uh, you have to know your backstop because uh, bullets fired out of real guns go very fast and they can ricochet and you have to really know what, what's, they go up to a mile or more, uh, so you have to really know what's behind you. Um, uh, it's very important a general rule is never pointed at anything you're not willing to destroy now with a nerf gun That's not necessarily true. You could kind of point this wherever you want um, It is fast enough where you know if it went right into the naked eye it could possibly hurt your eye That's really the only uh, Safety concern you'd really have you know have to worry about with this um, You know, it's not likely to be mistaken for a real gun, you know, because it's all kinds of crazy colors and everything um, uh, but, but, you know, so you'd want to make sure you didn't paint it to make it look like a, a real gun. It's very important that they're, uh, distinguishable. As you can see, there's, uh, very major differences, of course. So as far as the operation is concerned, um, you know, with your typical revolver, of course, uh, there's all different types, you know, and everything, you, but you've got typically a uh, double action revolver. It's called double action because again, you always make sure it's unloaded. Not as important with this, but very important with a real gun. Um, this would be one type of action where you can just pull the trigger straight through and it rotates each time. So you just keep pulling the trigger and it's going to hopefully fire until it's empty, right? Unless you have a bad round. And then the other action would be you can cock it and fire it like a single action where you have a much lighter trigger pull. So that's double action, two different ways, two different actions, ways to fire it. Um, and then on this firearm, this uh, Nerf gun, you have the same action with a the uh, cylinder comes out, but it loads from the front like this. And now normally on a real gun, see, this wouldn't be safe because you're loading it and you know, having to put your hand near the barrel. And, you know, there's some guns where you kind of have to do that, but ideally, you know, you wouldn't necessarily want that on a, on a real gun, of course, but not as big of an issue on this. So swing out cylinder, hold six, just like a standard uh, real gun revolver, but you have to cock it each time when you fire it. So you got to pull it back like that and you can fire it one time. Uh, let's try the stop sign again. All right, pretty you know pretty far off as we expected. And then if I want to fire it again, it's not double action, so I have to keep you know keep doing that. So I got to cock it again to fire it. And um, I'm not sure what happened with that one. You can see it. There we go. Oh, see, now that's that's glad that happened because see this is something that can actually happen with a with a real gun. What just happened here? See, I didn't have this this uh, round all the way in so the the cylinder was hanging up and not allowing it to rotate uh, with a real gun that can also happen if the bullet is not properly seated down into the case you can have the same thing happen where it's sticking out of the end of the the cylinder or if you're shooting really hot rounds the recoil can cause that bullet to come out a little bit and hang up so you know there's there's something right there that they have in common now uh, weight you know this one uh, not heavy at all. This one, you know, fairly heavy. Uh, so that's going to be a big difference that, that you would notice. Uh, mostly plastic construction uh, with a, maybe uh, just a little bit of metal in it, mostly plastic, you know, where this one is basically all metal um, with, with wood where, you know, you might have plastic grips on, on some revolvers, you know, it'd be a little plastic, all metal where this is all plastic, just a tiny bit of metal. Um, where you can buy these are, are vastly different. You can't buy this on Amazon. You can't buy this on Amazon.com. You're gonna have to go uh, to, hey, budsgunshop.com or uh, your local gun store. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of rules and regulations surrounding a real gun. Um, it's protected by the Second Amendment. Not always respected, but it is protected by the Second Amendment, um, but you know, there's age limitations and various state, local, federal laws, and a, a lot of countries don't even allow this. 
Um, so much more scrutiny on purchasing a real gun. And when it comes to these, eh, not, not very much at all. Uh, there may be some, uh, it's very possible that these are illegal in California. I'm not, I'm not sure, just guessing um, at this point based on what I know about California. But most, most places, this is something you can just buy off the rack, you know, over the counter, as you might say. Um, and there's really no age restrictions on, you know, when you can, you can buy something like this. So um, that's kind of a little bit of an overview of some of the differences. Let's, so I've got these two two liters here and I want to shoot one of each to kind of give you an idea of what the, uh, the potential, you know, what the destructive potential might be uh, for each one. So let's make sure we've got this thing loaded up here. And uh, I believe these are about, these, these Nerf darts are, uh, or rounds, whatever you want to call them. They're around like, you know, 45 to 50 caliber, something like that. Um, whereas this is, you know, 38, which is, you know, about 35 caliber, 37, 38. So, okay, let's, uh, let's, you know what, let's start with, let's start with the, you know, let's start with the Nerf gun. Since I already got my ears off. All right, let's shoot this red one here. All right, we're already cocked, ready to go. Now, one thing I will say, even though um, the, the the level of safety that you have to exercise with something like this is, of course, vastly different because it is uh, typically considered not a not a dangerous item, other than maybe in your eye. Um, it's a real because it does kind of feel like a, a real gun. A gun is a gun to a certain extent. Um, even if you're very young, I think it's a good habit to at least practice gun safety, keeping that finger straight. Uh, just the, uh, the amount of targets you're allowed to shoot with this is vastly different from the real gun. Okay. All right, we're already cocked, we're ready to go. All right, just off to the right. All right, got him. Shoot it again. Might as well just shoot them all here. Missed that time. Missed that time. Missed that time. I think we got left. We got one shot left. All right, well, we hit him one time. In the top. Let's um, now let's try the real gun. We're gonna shoot this blue one, and then we're gonna look at the difference. I'll go ahead and load them all up. All right. Safely pointed down range. Okay, shooting the blue two liter. We'll go ahead and cock it. A nice hair trigger. So as you can see there, it's a, a quite vast, uh, dra very drastic difference. Okay, I might as well shoot the rest of these out on that tombstone down there. All right. Another difference too, you notice that uh, with the real gun, you have a projectile known as the bullet flies down range, you don't have to pick those up. That's one other advantage. Um, you typically don't have to pick up bullets when you shoot them down range. Um, and you do have brass that separates, of course. Um, uh, but with a, a Nerf dart, you know, you gotta go pick those up, but you can reuse them also uh, without having to, to change them at all. You can just grab it, pop it back in, and you're good to go. That's one advantage. Let's get a little closer and make sure we get a good hit on this thing. See which way it rotates. Okay. All right. This one forgot to put powder in that one. All right, there we go. Solid hit. So now let's compare these two two liters. So as you can see here, where it appears that, yeah, it looks like maybe that's our, it's kind of hard to tell the way they're both sort of sticking out, but I would say, man, it's, I would say this is probably our entrance right here. So as you can see where this had no trouble penetrating the plastic, you know, fairly thin plastic um, with the uh, soda inside, seeing it flying around because of the pressure and everything, it went right through it without any trouble. And you know, can't really tell where you hit on this one. So 
you know, pretty pretty big difference there. So that should give you some some clear idea on what the you know kind of basic main differences are between a real gun and a Nerf gun, at least with the revolver. So uh, maybe I'll get out some other ones and compare, and they will find something different. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, don't forget to uh, check out some of the other things I've got going on online, like the Instagram. I've got uh, John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram. You want to check that out. I post a lot of behind the scenes, you know, kind of stuff and and, uh, and things like that. And John Hickok on Facebook and uh, Hickok45.com. We've got a store and all kinds of other things over there. So appreciate you guys checking out the video. I hope that you learned something and I'll see you next time.